here today on Good Morning America. I had the chance to sit down for an interview with Kevin Hart. And, of course, we discussed the recent controversy surrounding Kevin's past tweets, which led him to step down as the host of this year's Oscars. Well, it was a pretty insightful interview, so let's take a look. You apologized. Mm -hmm. You said you were sorry. But there are a lot of people who have taken an issue to the way that you've apologized. Mm -hmm. so, so what do you say to that? I say I'm done with it. It gets no more energy for me. That's so, why I said, for the last time, I'm addressing this. It's, it's, there's no more conversation about it. I'm, I'm literally, I'm over that. I'm over the moment. And I'm about today. So if it's accepted, great. If it's not, it's nothing I can control. Some things are left out of your hands. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm done with it. I'm, I'm, I'm over it. That's where I personally am. And, you know, it, yeah, I mean, he was, he was, he, you know, that, that was just part of it. And but I continued. I continued to talk with Kevin about his comments on being a father to a son who came out as gay. If that were the scenario, check it out. If you're if your father out there, uh -huh. and I'm talking about any father, mm -hmm. it's not uh, a black father, any father mm -hmm. whose kid may may be gay. You mm -hmm. have a, a son that is gay. Mm -hmm. um, what do you what do you say to your son? What do you what do you say to other or other kids out there? Are there any message for kids here's a, here's out a there good in the thing. midst of all of this? Here's what you can say: Are you a monster, Mike? No. No. All right. People see you on this show every day. It's safe to say that you got good energy. It's safe to say that you're a loving person. Yeah. Why would I assume anything different? Why would I ever assume anything different? Why do you have to prove that you are a loving individual? You know who you are. People close to you know who you are. You shouldn't have to prove that. You shouldn't have to justify that. That's the position I'm in. I shouldn't have to prove who I am. I shouldn't have to prove the levels of love that I'm capable of giving. If anybody out there wants to believe that Kevin Hart is that much of a monster, that he wouldn't love somebody because of their choice in life, then all power to him. Feel and choose to think how you think. I'm not addressing it. I'm not over-delivering and over-proving myself. Because no matter what you do, it may still not be received. And you'll find yourself in a position where you go, well, what else do you want? I mean, very interesting to say that, yeah. Well, I, the, the one moment that jumped out at me that I, I wouldn't hold against Kevin Hart, but I think is a moment to teach, is it isn't it isn't a choice. <laughs> they, you know, people are born this way. Yeah. So I, I understand the misstep in his verbiage, but that's an that, that's why these types of conversations are so important to teach that part of the reaction or the hurt is there are people born this way and when they mm -hmm. hear that language it's it, it's already enough of a battle to be authentic to yourself and come out that to hear that pushback is what you feared and why you stayed closeted so but uh, but I, I just wanted to clarify with his one wording that that would be the one part that jumped out at me yeah that that part you can see that for him even in in doing an interview it's still it it kind of the hot, it's still a hot button for him, even though he says, I'm done with it and it's over and I've apologized. I think it really um, strikes a chord that it hasn't been received by a lot of people, which, you know, there are going to be people who are saying, okay, I accept it. And there are going to be some who say, I don't accept it at all, no matter what you say. And I think that's been the, the biggest challenge and battle that he's had. And finally, here's Kevin. He's talking about continuing to address this story in the future. What do you want? You want my arms? But I think that a lot of people say, well, you don't have to prove. You put out great energy. Mm -hmm. I mean, and nobody can deny that. You put out great energy. You make everyone laugh. You make everyone enjoy every room that you walk sure into. Do. But once these comments are out there in the public, mm -hmm. on, on Twitter or wherever they may be, then there are people who feel like, well, you have to address it. You have to show that you're not what you, yeah. s you say you were back then and that your mm -hmm. beliefs are not the same. So, so you can to say someone people, puts out great energy, but maybe the, their comments or something and this uh, I, I, has not been put out there well, in this way about them. So they don't have to prove in the way in which people expect for you to do. Here's what I would say. If there wasn't comment number one that addressed it, mm -hmm. I would totally get it. If I didn't say that I addressed it way back then in 2008, 2009, then I would get it. But I know I did. Then I readdressed it again. Then I went on Ellen and did what I thought was addressing it. Well, were you surprised that the backlash that Ellen received from it? It shows me that there is, no, there, is no, there is no ending to it. If you keep feeding this energy, then it's going to grow. You're not getting no more of my energy from it. I'm not giving no more. Good Strong job. statement. Yeah. Strong statement. But the big thing I got from this is I do think Kevin Hart's right that you apologize and just because it's not the way people want to hear it, there are mm -hmm. people that want him to be an advocate and ally for LGBTQ. 
you can't overnight change your belief system. What we do with this is we take it and we continue to educate and inform so people that lack that understanding can hopefully get the information they need because I don't hold it against Kevin that he has different beliefs mm -hmm. and he did apologize. We have to stop the mob mentality of destroying people because they said something. Yeah, yep. And as you said about about him being an advocate for the for the community, but I don't I don't think it would be authentic because that's not be. in a community that he's a part of and understands. But I'm just you know I'm happy he stopped by to talk about it because yes, it took absolutely. a lot to talk about that. It did. He could have said I'm not saying another word. I'm done. So um, you know but you I'm asked glad good he did. Question. It. I really enjoyed. It. I couldn't stop watching that interview. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.